Hi everybody, it's me Kelly again and I am so excited to see you back to play another game of I Spy. Last week seemed a little bit too easy. You found that lantern very quickly. So we hid two things today. Same item, but it's hidden two times. This time I want you to look for an item that helps you look for people from far away. See if you can find it. Yeah. Did you find our item today? I, I know that last week was pretty easy, so there's two things that we're looking for. They're the same thing, something that you can see people from far away. Glasses, not quite right. Mm, I don't, do you see it? Oh, oh, ask the monkey? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Hey monkey, have you seen anything? Hey, wait a minute. Did you see him? He's got some binoculars, right? <laughs> Thanks, monkey. Okay, I found one. Let's see if we can find the other ones. Help me look. Nope, this way? No, no. What's that? Turn the other way? Okay. Nope. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> I found them. Did you see them? They were hiding. Another set of binoculars. You know, binoculars can help you see far away. And I know we're going to hear about Jesus and something that he was told us, but I wonder what else you could see really far away with my binoculars. Hello? Hey Diana, it's Kelly. Have you been using those binoculars to look for people? Well, I, I started to, but I got a little bit distracted by this really cool bird book I got. I've been looking for the elusive cuckoo dodo bird. The what bird? The cuckoo dodo bird. The cuckoo dodo bird? a real bird. Yes, the cuckoo dodo bird. It's in the book. Of course it's real. But that's not what those binoculars are for. They're a reminder to tell us how Jesus wants us to look for people to tell them about him. That's what we're going to learn about this week. <gasps> There's a bird in my house. Oh, oh, what, what do I do? Oh, yeah. What is it? Is it the cuckoo dodo bird? Ah, oh, it's just an owl. How did an owl get into your house? Well, maybe it's all the open windows and the bird food I have laying around. You know, you're gonna have to get rid of that owl. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying, but <gasps> where'd he go? Hold on, Kelly. I gotta catch me a bird. Are you okay? Oh, at this point, finding people would be a lot easier. That's probably true. Jesus tells us to go everywhere and tell everyone about him and his love. Diana, don't let this bird distract you from what Jesus tells us to do. Okay, it's okay, little birdie. I gotcha. Diana, did you get it? Nope. He just left me all these feathers to clean up. Hey, bird. 
Have you heard about Jesus? Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder. friends and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and my friend Poppy left us some secret words to find. All I have to do is paint this page. See? I think there's a secret word on here somewhere. Let's keep painting. Do you spy the secret word? I spy with my little eye the word Hello, that's how you say hi in English. Can you turn to your neighbor and say hello? Hello to all of you. Should we do another one? I'm gonna try blue this time. Do you spy the new secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hola. That's hello in Spanish. Can you say hola with me? Hola. Now turn to your neighbor and say hola. Yes, I love it. You just said hello in two different languages. Wow. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hola, Lucy. Who? Who? Telling each other hello, are you? Poppy left us these fun different ways to greet each other. Saying hello is fun. Hoo, hoo. But there's so much more to tell others too. So let's hear the story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my Tell All the World Cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about how we can tell the whole world about Jesus. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today we are going to play I Spy to find a man named Peter. Do you see him? Get out your pretend binoculars. Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye. Peter! Peter was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat and go out on a lake to catch fish. Peter believed in Jesus because Peter saw that Jesus is alive with his very own eyes. Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And he wants to be their friends forever. Then he left and went to heaven. Jesus' friends did just what he told them to do. They told everyone everywhere Jesus is alive. He wants to be your friend forever. One day, some men who were different than Peter came and knocked on his door. Knock with me, ready? Knock, knock, knock. They asked Peter to come to their house and tell all their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said he would go to their house even though they were different than him. Do you see someone that Peter can tell about Jesus? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye someone Peter can tell about Jesus. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. 
He told them about how Jesus died and came back and is alive. He told them he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and we can tell everyone about it, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Oh, oh. Wow, Peter got to tell everyone that Jesus is alive because everyone can believe in Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I love that we can tell everyone about Jesus, no matter how they say hello. Let's see if Poppy left us more words to spy. See you later, bye. Hey guys, it's Kelly. We get to do a fun craft today. We've been talking about how Jesus asks us to go out and find people to tell about him and we get to make our own set of binoculars. I had some friends make some for me to show you guys what they can look like. Um, this person went ahead and used toilet paper rolls. You also, if you don't have that around the house, you can use paper towel rolls and that's totally fine. I went ahead and used toilet paper rolls. And what you're going to do is you're going to either glue them together or tape them together. I went ahead and glued them before I started so that they would be dry, but I'm also going to show you how to tape them. So you can get some fun tape. This is a sparkly tape that I had that I think is pretty fun. And I'm just going to tape this around the outside of my toilet paper rolls to keep them connected. And you can go ahead and cut that off. And we'll do another strip around to keep those connected. And then what you get to do after that's done is you get to de decorate it however you want to. So I have stickers, I have some markers, pom-poms, we have some crayons, and of course, we cannot forget our feathers. I think I'm going to make these for Diana because she's been on a bird hunt lately. And again, when we are doing this, I want you guys to think about who you can go out and find with your binoculars, who in your neighborhood, which of your friends you could go and tell about Jesus. And I'm gonna just stick these on here. And then after we're done and you've let it dry, you can go ahead and take your paper hole punch and put a hole on each side. Take a piece of string, piece of yarn, a piece of ribbon, whatever you have lying around the house. Go ahead and put those through the holes and you can tie it in a knot. You can ask your parents, an older sibling, grandma or grandpa to help you with this. Put it around your neck and you are ready to go find someone to tell about Jesus.
I bet you thought I was looking up about cuckoo dodo birds, but I tricked you. I was reading in my Bible. I was reading in my Bible, you know, how God told Peter and Cornelius to go and tell everyone everywhere about Jesus. You know, it wasn't just the people that kind of look the same or, or do the same things that Peter did. He was surprised. Jesus said, everyone, everywhere. You know, it's easy to tell our friends and our family about Jesus, but there's even more people that you can share about Jesus's love. You know, it could be your mailman, or it could be the one who brings your Amazon packages, or, or even the people who are walking down your street. You can tell them all about Jesus. You can tell them Jesus loves you. So this week, don't forget, use your binoculars. Look for someone that you can tell about Jesus' love. Ah, not another one. Ah. All right, you guys. We'll see you next week.